Hello guys, welcome again to my channel. I hope you are all well and safe. In today's video, I am going to show you two methods on how I prepare my rosehip infused oil at home. For the first method, we need 20 grams of dried rosehip fruit. I bought mine from a tea shop, as rosehip fruit can also be prepared as tea. One can also buy it from any health food store. Put the dried rosehip fruit into a blender. I add 70 grams of grapeseed oil to it and blend until they are crushed into small pieces. You can use any oil of your choice as your career oil. After blending, put the mixture in a clean glass jar. Mix it a bit. Then seal it airtight and store at room temperature for one month away from direct sunlight. It is important to shake the mixture at least twice a week. After one month, you can filter it through a cheesecloth. Guys, see how beautiful the color is. And it smells so good. I love it. As you filter, please make sure there are no particles of rosehip in the oil. After you filter the oil, pour it into a clean sterilized container. As this is an infused oil, you can use it directly on the skin. You can also use it in the oil phase of your formulation or add it to your body butter. Make sure that the carrier oil you use has a shelf life of at least one year. In this way, you can store the oil for up to one year in the fridge or for six months at room temperature. For the second recipe, we are going to use fresh rose hip. As I have a rose hip plant in my garden, it was obviously easy for me to get fresh rose hip fruit. After harvesting it, I wash it thoroughly Then I place the fruit on a paper towel to dry. When the rosehip fruits are dry, we cut off the ends of each fruit. Then cut the fruit into small pieces. After cutting the rose hips into small pieces, put them in a blender and blend until they are crushed. Rose hip oil is rich in antioxidants. It contains vitamin A and vitamin E. It nourishes and smooths the skin, lightens pigmentation, and helps to fade scars. It slows down the aging process and the formation of wrinkles. Then put the crushed rose hip into a beaker or a heat resistant cup. Add any oil of your choice to the rose hip. I am using grape seed oil. Make sure the crushed rose hip is completely covered in oil. I added 90 grams of grape seed oil to 40 grams of crushed rose hip. Mix well. Then place the heat resistant container in a double boiler and heat on low to medium heat for three hours. Make sure you stir occasionally. After three hours, remove the container from the double boiler and set aside to cool. When the mixture has cooled, I first filter it through a strainer. Guys, which method do you prefer? This hot process with fresh rose hips or the cold process with dried rose hips? Please comment below. I filter it again through a cheesecloth. Please leave a comment below and let us know what oil you will be using if you intend to make your own rose hip infused oil. 
and here we have our hot processed rosehip infused oil. As I mentioned earlier, because this is an infused oil, it can be used directly on the body or the face, depending on your carrier oil. I cannot stress this enough. Please, make sure that the carrier oil you use has a shelf life of at least one year. In this way, you can store the oil for up to one year in the fridge or for six months at room temperature. On my right, we have the hot processed oil and on my left, the cold processed oil. Thank you for watching the video. Please do not forget to give it a like, leave a comment, share the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support. Bye bye and have a wonderful day.